Capricorn sexual compatibility, horny and prudent in bed. As a Capricorn, you are sensitive and sensual in bed. You tend to see sex as another task to be completed to the best of your ability, which means you are always willing to put in the time and effort needed to satisfy your partner. Like the goat, Capricorns are very horny and, once you've overcome your personal reservations, you can be one of the most enthusiastic lovers of the zodiac. Capricorn and Aries Silly, impetuous Aries might think you don't want to be the one in charge of the relationship, but that won't last for long. If you're the ultimate parental force of the zodiac, Aries is the littlest, least well-behaved baby. This strong and brave yet unwieldy person goes head first into just about every situation, and that will include sex. Seduction usually isn't even part of Aries' equation. All you'll have to do is indicate your willingness to get at least partially naked. Aries will take care of the rest. The problem might be, though, that Aries is unlikely to have much polish. If this doesn't bother you, there's nothing to worry about. However, it's highly likely that you're going to need something to do while Aries gets off on the mere sight of you. The best method will be to take charge of the situation from the outset. You realize you know more than Aries, so just take the ram by the horns and lead the way. Once your obvious sexual superiority is demonstrated, Aries will do all those little things that keep your mind entwined in lurid details of what you did together hours later, while you're entrenched in boring business meetings. A long-term relationship with Aries could be quite rewarding, as long as you're willing to accept the role of teacher, leader, and perpetual parent. Knowing your penchant for taking charge, though, you won't mind winning the role when you realize it comes with an almost insatiable sex partner. Your karmic challenge here is to deal with someone who isn't anywhere near as patient or refined as you are, yet has more energy than even you can keep up with. Capricorn and Taurus on the surface, you and this calm, gentle, and practical person seem like the perfect match. You like the same things, have the same relaxed attitude, and generally can get along no matter what you're doing. This is particularly true in bed. The only problem is, the two of you might take forever to get started. Your refined nature doesn't always make you aggressive enough to instigate, while Taurus normally takes forever to make a move. So, when this attractive type starts giving you the eye, move in as fast as you can. Taurus is almost as hedonistic as you are, but not quite so adventurous. You may have to open this rather traditional individual up a great deal before you let loose with all the sexual options you might want to have on the table or on the kitchen table, or against the living room wall. Indeed, you might have to teach Taurus a new meaning for dirty little pleasures. In the long term, though, this can be fun. You'll find pleasure to be the best way possible to disarm this hard-nosed relationship partner. If you want to stick together, though, you'll have to learn to respect what Taurus has to offer you, things such as loyalty, consistency, and the ability to tell you when you're going too far. The karmic lesson here for you might be that when you don't always know what's best for you, it can be good to have someone around with a sound set of brakes. Capricorn and Gemini Although Gemini is hard to pin down, you will find this elusive person to be quite attractive. There are several reasons for this, but the one that will drive you the most wild is your love of challenge. To be sure, Gemini can be here now and gone within 10 minutes, so getting this poster child for ADD to pay attention to you will feel like a real coup. Managing to get this chatterbox to turn off the brain and get engaged in bodily pleasures will be the next level to overcome. Because you're such a master of sensuality, you'll think of something, but don't let the first thing you try be using one of those lovely silk sashes as a gag. Silencing Gemini without consent could result in panic. Better to kiss and grope your way into a peaceful state that resembles silence. The thing you'll like about Gemini the most is an ability to engage and disengage without any excess of emotion or angst. This can definitely have its plus side for those afternoon quickies you like so much. In a long-term relationship, though, you're going to have to work a lot harder. You may have to do a lot more listening than you're normally inclined to do, and work on calming down Gemini when nerves get the better of cool logic. You'll also have to cultivate the kind of emotional loyalty you really do expect from your long-term partner. You work very hard most of the rest of the time, so having someone show you new ways to have fun will be very rewarding. Your karmic lesson from Gemini could very well be about living in the here and now, and making the most out of every minute. 
Capricorn and Cancer. You might not think the person that embodies home, family, and tradition is really for you, but Cancer is your perfect match. Seemingly shy and hard to approach, Cancer is easy enough to turn on. Usually any signal that you desire sexual pleasure will set Cancer into a routine that will make you wonder where this bundle of pleasure has been your whole life. Cancer instinctively knows what you need, even before you do. You'll love being able to lap up the amount of love and affection you get here. The problems could start when you figure out how much of it you're supposed to give back. Cancer definitely needs more reassurance than you might think is possible, but fortunately Mother Nature has given the two of you a way of working things out. One little pat on the back from you is worth more than volumes of praise from anyone else. Cancer can definitely give you the devotion you crave, and you will happily provide the security this hypersensitive person needs. One issue that could come up might be Cancer's threshold for traditional sexual stimulation. Although Cancer will gladly give you pleasure, some of the kinkier things you enjoy might not be in the original repertoire. You could try teaching this old-fashioned person new tricks, or it could be that having everything else you could possibly want is enough to keep you away from the elaborate play-action scenarios. Your karmic lesson from Cancer is the simple pleasures are the best, especially when you know there is love. Capricorn and Leo. This bold and brassy individual will definitely impress you. Leos have a way of making everyone around them feel like they should make way for their regal presence. Of course, this isn't likely to do much to sway you, because you know that there are people who belong on a throne, and then. There's you, the person who has even more power and influence. You and Leo make a very impressive couple. In bed, you'll definitely enjoy being wrapped up in the fire and passion that the lion will unleash upon you. The inevitable power struggle between the two of you will be a huge turn on, too. You could go through a series of positions before you finally figure out that you're just going to have to take turns at being the one who gets to be on top. You'll find this applies in your interpersonal connection as well. Leo isn't a pushover, and no matter how much you think this self-confident individual should cede to your experience and finesse, there's no way that's going to happen. You might have to watch your own behavior to make sure you don't become a stick in the mud to Leo's smooth sailing cruise ship. Use Leo's integrity to help both of you get to the truth, and to help each of you understand how you can learn how to take turns at the controls of your relationship. Leo's karmic lesson for you is that letting someone else be in charge now and then isn't all bad. Capricorn and Virgo. Virgo will know from the moment you meet that the number one thing you like is respect, and lavish it upon you. You'll probably find that this discerning, serious person has been waiting for someone like you to come along for a very long time. There's no question that the two of you seem to go together oh so well. Both of you are practical, and although you have a great sense of humor, you don't suffer fools very well. In bed, Virgo will let you take the lead, but don't expect someone who's willing to totally succumb to whatever you think you want to do. Virgo will definitely call you on the things that, according to Virgo's rather awesomely detailed rulebook, seem to be out of line. You won't be able to get away with playing domination games, or missing an important date because you think something at work should come first. By keeping you honest, Virgo will help keep the glue in your relationship going so you can stay together. Obviously, this could be a sign that a long-term relationship has great chances of working out. But, if you're not careful, you could easily lose all the comforts of this relationship. Virgo will have the courage to leave you if you don't perform up to expectations. This meticulous, watchful person will give you the karmic lesson of diligence. You will learn that, no matter how much admiration you might evoke in your partner, you have to earn rewards like loyalty and devotion. Capricorn and Libra Libra's ability to sit back and take in the scenery without showing emotion will be very attractive to you. After all, it isn't every day that you find someone who appears to be as calm, cool, and collected as you are. As you begin to unwrap this delicately packaged and truly beautiful creature, though, you'll find that this rather unaffected veneer has its more demanding underside. Libra, you will find, is a potentially amorous partner with a strange agenda. Somehow, just jumping into bed and going at it like two spring rabbits isn't going to do it for Libra. This dead serious romantic individual will insist on being courted with all the accoutrements you read about in self-help columns. 
You can play the game if you want to, and if you do you'll probably be far happier with the results. In bed, Libra will be an authentic lover who is truly interested in every reason you want to make love. In other words, Libra is into being worshipped. It's up to you how far you'll let this go. Best advice is not to spare the compliments, but try to avoid becoming enslaved by Libra's insatiable need to be noticed. The sex can be well worth it, even if you only get together once or twice. Libra definitely knows how to linger over moments of pleasure, and will leave you at the mercy of the next move this smooth lover makes. In truth, this challenging lover could be interesting enough to form a long-lasting relationship with. First, though, you'll need to learn your karmic lesson, someone this beautiful can be pretty high maintenance. Capricorn and Scorpio. This is your dream come true. Although you may not think the two of you are all that compatible when you first meet, you'll find out differently later. Scorpio is the essence of seduction, pleasure, and sexual mystery. Diving into bed with this sumptuous creature can be like an escape into the deepest part of the jungle, a place of danger and wonder, but filled with the thrill of adventure. Scorpio has the reputation of overcoming people in sexual situations, but that's probably not possible with you. The two of you will be so relieved to finally find another person who's as much of a sex spot. Nothing you do or suggest will be too gross or too much for Scorpio. It's not that this discerning partner will do anything, there just won't be any judgment of your proclivities. You'll try to impress one another and have a sexy time doing so. Another pleasant surprise you may come across is how easy it is for the two of you to get along outside of bed. You share many common goals and standards, and you both strive to be the very best at what you do, yet you're not competitive with one another. Because you're both aware of your strengths and confident that you have unique specialties and skills, you can avoid many of the petty fights other couples have and save time for the things that really count, like fabulous sex. Your karmic lesson from Scorpio will be that insisting on excellence may never result in true perfection, but it will help you get kind of close. Capricorn and Sagittarius. The wild and crazy Sagittarian will be a source of fascination for you. You might wonder what it will take to impress this person enough to get this tireless searcher to stop moving around and take notice. That's easy, talk about anything that's new, exotic, or intellectual. You'll grab Sagittarius' attention right away. Remember though, although Sag is a shoe in for having a fabulous sense of humor, it will take time before this innocent creature can truly catch on to your rather dry, saucy way of poking fun at life on Earth and the people who dare to try living it. All that aside, once you get Sagittarius into your bed, you can definitely expect a feast of sensuality. This adventurous person will be ready for anything, and will probably keep you jumping in an attempt to keep up. Sagittarius has the reputation of literally being half animal, half human, and you may find this to be a wonderful thing when you get down to the business of having sex. If you go for a longer-term relationship, though, you'll have to keep a channel of communication open that allows you to tell where you are with one another. Although Sagittarius' self-sufficient way of being will be attractive to you, it can also be the source of some disappointment. It can be hard to have a close and reliable relationship with someone who likes to travel and get lost in the next, best adventure. If you take the time to stay in touch, though, you'll learn a great karmic lesson from Sagittarius, it's possible to be loved by somebody who doesn't sit around waiting for your next phone call. Capricorn and Capricorn. Although this might seem like a nice and easy prospect, you and another person born under your sign are going to struggle for supremacy almost from the get-go. There are many great things that can be said of all people born under the sign of the mighty sea goat, but one of them would not be that you make great team players. That's why it's going to be hard for you to know where to start, even when the sexual attraction is so hot it makes you burn up inside. Mutual respect is the key to getting this liaison off the ground, so start with that. Acknowledge how attractive your partner is, and go out of your way to make sure you perform as many sexually pleasing acts as possible. More than that, open up a conversation about how you can please one another without trying to be so competitive. It will be easy for your fellow goat to understand what you want and why you want it. You can feel free to explore one another with as much gusto as you like. There's no question that you'll enjoy getting down and dirty together. What may surprise you is how much you enjoy being together outside of bed. 
Meeting someone who has the same, wide-reaching perspective as you will be a wondrous experience. You can be confident that you'll enjoy your life together for a lot longer than you may have dared to ever guess. Your karmic lesson? Sharing the spotlight with someone who sees things the way you do is a pretty good deal. Capricorn and Aquarius. You conduct your life in such a way that puts the emphasis on work, and when it comes to play, you believe you just want to goof off. However, it isn't always so easy for you to go from 60 down to zero just because you're taking some time off. The idea of challenge gets you all fired up. You love to think you've won some sort of conquest, and that's why Aquarius will surprise you with just how much a cool and collected individual can truly turn you on. Aquarius won't play games or go into an emotional drama just to get you in bed. At first, this could make you wonder if there's something wrong, like you lost your mojo or something. Don't go into any kind of elaborate game to bed Aquarius, though, all it will take is a quick glance, a conversation and a decision as to whether there is true mutual consent. You both know what you're after, and when you get what you want, you'll know you just got it. It really is that simple. Because both of you are traditionally ruled by Saturn, you're both of the what you see is what you get variety. It's out of bed where you might have a few problems. While you're down to earth about most things, Aquarius is not. You will constantly be challenged about not seeing things the way Aquarius thinks they ought to be. If you're up for this discussion, the two of you will be fine. Your karmic lesson here is that even when you think someone is just like you, there are always many areas that you need to negotiate if you want to enjoy your relationship. Capricorn and Pisces When you first meet delicate Pisces, you may want to take this wistful soul up and into your arms so you can offer a lifetime of protection. Most Pisces people seem to look lost, but that's just because they're paying more attention to what's going on in a rather vivid inner life. Want to get into a Pisces pants? Start by inviting yourself into Pisces dreams. How do you do this? Listen. Yep. All those sketchy rants and impossible ideas might seem pretty tiresome to you at first, but once you engage your sizable sense of humor, you'll be just fine. Pisces' way of making love will be worth any time you might have felt you wasted while you were listening to all those stories. Pisces will let you blend into each other so that it's hard to tell where one ends and the other begins. Pisces has sensitive spots that involve the feet. You'll know what to do with that. What you might have problems figuring out could be dealing with Pisces on a day-to-day -day basis. You might feel as though you have adopted a child at times, when you see how Pisces goes about managing life and dealing with responsibilities. You will have to learn to keep your distance, for whether you think so or not, Pisces does know how to do these things. Respect for a different way of doing things is something you're going to have to work with if you want to keep this going long term. Your karmic lesson from Pisces involves the realization that people can have a whole other way of living their lives, and be just as right as you are. Capricorn love style ruled by strict Saturn, Capricorn knows, expects, and even relishes the tough parts of relationships. They are in it for the long haul, and know the best relationships have storms. It's not as if they are fatalistic, but Capricorns are realistic and aren't going to have a rosy view of romance. That said, Capricorns are expansive and generous in love, and adore being wined and dined. They love the formality of early dating, and may be quite strict about following the rules of romance, even if those rules are made up. Typically, they may follow gender norms of dating, expecting the man to call first and the man to pay on the first date, but Capricorn isn't strict, and is always willing to consider another path or another way. Capricorns can be regimented, and love having a specific night of the week for date night. Capricorns thrive on routine, and may love staying at home on weekends, under the covers, with nothing but them and their lover. Capricorns love spending time only with their lover, especially in the early stages of a relationship, which can be frustrating to their friends and family. Capricorns are serious monogamists, and although they can be cautious in every other aspect of their lives, they are the sign who is likely to fall deeply in love with someone, and it's not unusual for a Capricorn to get married after only several months of dating. They know their hearts well, and don't hesitate to lock things down when they know that the relationship is right and their instincts are on point, loyal Capricorns stay in relationships for the long haul. 
They aren't afraid of therapy if their relationship needs help, and approach problems as a bump in the road, capable of fixing with honesty, trust, and hard work from both partners. Smart, hardworking, and fully in control of their destiny, a Capricorn will always get what they set their mind to, in both personal and professional life, no excuses. Capricorns may get a reputation as stubborn, but they simply know what they want, and also know how they wish other people would behave. Natural rule followers, Capricorns thrive on order and love strict rules, hierarchies, and set ways to do things. Can a Capricorn think outside the box? Yes, they can, but they prefer when they have strict boundaries to constrain against, free reign can make them feel paralyzed by choice. Capricorns are great at climbing the corporate ladder, and especially adept at making and investing money. Capricorns love family, and put a lot of stock in traditions. A Capricorn might stress themselves out trying to do everything perfectly, a Capricorn may feel like they must present a home-cooked meal every day, and would never admit to doing drive through or takeout. Capricorns believe presentation is everything, and their homes are usually insta-worthy. A Capricorn sometimes is overly focused on what things look like, instead of how things feel, which could cause them to feel stifled and unhappy. Capricorn needs to find a firm sense of self beyond how others perceive them, and recognize that racking up achievements is only one small part of their personality. Capricorns are loyal friends, and have a funny and sly sense of humor when you get to know them, it is fun drawing them out of their shells. In love, Capricorn is a true partner, who is laser-focused on helping their partner find success and happiness. A Capricorn will dive into a relationship like a job, and believes that hard work can help make a bond as strong as possible. While sometimes a romantic conversation may veer toward feeling a bit like a board meeting, especially with action items and improvement plans, but if you roll with it, they have a point, your bond will be stronger. Capricorn Greatest Gifts Capricorn is intelligent, detail-oriented, and will not take no for an answer when they want something. Their hard-working attitude is an inspiration to all, and they truly believe they can achieve anything with hard work. Capricorn is always ready to learn new skills, and see something they don't know, like changing a tire or boiling the perfect egg, as a challenge they must undertake. This attitude makes them a master of all trades, and they have esoteric knowledge that is impressive to all who know them. Capricorn Greatest Challenges Capricorns can be incredibly hard on themselves, and just as hard on other people. They can hold grudges and hold other people in their lives to impossible standards. Capricorns sometimes see one narrow way of doing something, and broadening their horizons and perspective can be incredibly helpful in giving them and others a break. Capricorn's secret weapon their tenacity. They believe that they truly can do anything, and they will dig in and get it done, no matter how exhausting or tedious the task. Capricorn will stay up all night if necessary and are almost superhuman in terms of being able to ignore exhaustion and laser focus on the task at hand. The five top reasons to love being a Capricorn Your bank account balance is enviable. You don't get overly tempted by purchases, and have a gift for investing and saving. Your mind is like a steel trap. You never forget anything or anyone, and can recall conversations from years ago. Your home looks like it belongs on HGTV. Whether it's a rental or you own it, you have an exacting eye for design, and know the exact touches to make anywhere, even a hotel room, seem like a home. You never lose anything, and always have the important files, passwords, and papers close at hand. Your organization saves your time and sanity. You are polished. You never don't know what to say and seem to avoid awkward situations as you are an expert at small talk, and also really good at knowing exactly what to say to make other people feel good.